show of hands, who knows what GM, what a genetically modified organism is or GMO in relation to food? Okay, so a couple of you. But you, most of you aren't aware that about 80% of food in America that is packaged contains GMOs. Good morning, I'm Jeremy Chesler. I personally have done research on genetically engineered food and the debate between labeling this food or not. I am proposing a policy that the FDA should require companies to label food that contains genetically modified crops in some way, with the exception of alcohol and meats that have been fed GMOs. When I'm finished, you'll have a better understanding that we as consumers have the right to know what is in the food that we eat. First, I'll talk about problem of not labeling foods that contain potentially harmful GMOs, then move on to the causes of the lack of labeling, and finally I'll propose a solution that we can all partake in and help force change to our current policies. Let's start by talking about the problem of not labeling food that has in some way been genetically engineered. The problem with not labeling food that contains genetically modified organisms is that people are not aware of what is in the food or what the effects of that food might have. The U.S. Department of Energy has stated that potential impacts on human health, such as allergens and carcinogens as a result of genetic engineering, are still unknown. <clears throat> However, many people do not want to wait to find out if those long-term effects will occur. As well as human health effects, there are also potential environmental risks, which is one of the main problems um, much of the environmental risks comes from increased use of pesticides as the genetically engineered crops are designed to resist damage from such chemicals and therefore they use more. According to Charles Benrook and the Environmental Sciences Europe Journal, genetically engineered crops have led to an increase of 400 million pounds of pesticide use in the past 16 years in the United States. These chemicals have no effect on the crops themselves, but have been known to contaminate water and the soil in the surrounding area. People do not take initiative. We may not know the full effects of genetically engineered crops until it is too late. The problem stems from the always present root of evil money. Major food corporations <coughs> will do everything they can to prevent any further government required labeling. This includes paying millions of dollars in California this past election to help fight the passing of Prop 37, a proposition that would have created a GMO label law for the first time in America. This would have required almost all foods containing GMOs to be labeled as such, with the exception of alcohol and meats that have been fed GMOs. According to carightoknow.org, companies such as Monsanto, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, and Nestle, to name a few, spent over $20 million this past election year to fight that labeling law. Large corporations fear that uh, large corporations that control our agriculture and food system fear that such regulations would diminish their ability to profit on the public's ignorance. The reason for opposing the bill publicly, however, is that it will lead to extensive spending and unnecessary research. Yet, they're willing to spend $20 million to ensure that they save money. As consumers, we can take control and make a change. We can use the resources that are already available to us in order to push for stricter regulations. There are currently resources available to help people find out more about food. There are sites such as truefoodnow.org, and non-gmoshoppingguide.com, which also have iPhone apps dedicated to helping us as informers or as consumers become more informed. <clears throat> this allows us to make wiser decisions when purchasing food at grocery stores. People that choose to can even fully boycott foods that contain GMO products in order to show the importance of this issue. By taking action, Large corporations will begin to take note of the public's demand to know what they are consuming. We can eventually get the FDA to mandate a GMO label bill. <clears throat> Contacting Congress directly through petitions and referendums is what the American people will eventually need to do 
in order to ensure they get proper food labeling. As you see here, America should take note with the uh, other 40 plus countries around the world, some of which including China and the European Union, adopt similar, similar regulations to what are already in place there. Now that we have discussed the problem with the lack of labeling on food containing GMOs, become aware of the cause of insufficient labeling and develop a solution that will help us change the fact that we are not fully informed as consumers. Let's follow the rest of the industrialized world to force our government to require our food be properly labeled to protect us from possible effects of GMOs. Remember that we can all make a difference. I'll leave you with a quote from John F. Kennedy. One person can make a difference and every person should try. Thank you. Thank you.